everyone, welcome back. If you wanted to play a light gun game, usually you need a CRT TV and a light gun to go with it. In today's video, we'll show you how to get some light gun games working on your A500 Mini. Welcome to Team Pandori. Like, subscribe and build! This here is the Mayflash Dolphin Bar. It goes for around $20 to $30 and allows us to connect a Wiimote to a PC. The Nintendo Wii controller can then be used as a normal control pad or as a wireless mouse if we point it to a TV or monitor. Most people use these for Wii emulators on the PC, but today we're going to show you how to get these working on the A500 Mini. As this solution isn't the most accurate, we can alternatively use the mouse for all of these games, and is ultimately the most compatible. Let's get to it! Surprisingly, the Wii Mote can control and start games on the A500 Mini carousel, and after starting and testing a few games, it doesn't work as a controller for Player 1. Or Player 2. But it does work as a mouse, albeit the movement being incredibly limited. I break limits by wearing no underwear. I'm John. The easiest way to get around this is to install AGS2. This gives us many Amiga games to play with and works much better with this setup. Here we have Simon the Sorcerer. And as you can see, we have a larger range of movement with our Wiimote. The A button works as a left mouse click and the trigger at the back works as a right mouse click. We can create the illusion of a light gun by using one of these controller grips. This one here has two triggers, and it was pretty cheap, but unfortunately I can't actually find this for sale, but there are many other options available on Amazon and AliExpress. Let's test out some Amiga shooters. This one's T2, the arcade game from 1993. I wish you would stop triggering my PTSD. <laughs> From 1989, take him out. From 1992, here's Space Gun, an arcade conversion from the Taito Classic. Nineteen eighty nine, West Phaser. From nineteen eighty nine, Operation Thunderbolt. From 88, Capone. From 88, P.O.W. Then we decided to get a bit experimental with Walker. If you want to push the limit, we can use Pandori 500, which will allow us to use the A500 Mini in many ways. For example, we can start shooting Bernard in Day of the Tentacle. It is a wee bit sensitive, but remember everything you can see here can be done by using the mouse. I left my little black book at home. To get main games working with both triggers, we have to go to settings and change this here to trigger 2. And with this, we can play earlier main 2003 games with the light gun. Let's now move on to Mega Drive. First we load a game, go down to the core settings, then set light gun input to light gun. Then in our controls, we go to port 2 controls, then change device type to MD Menacer, 
For games that require Justifier or any other light gun, change accordingly. Now go to Settings, Input, scroll down to Port 2 Controls. Now change Mouse Index to either your Main Flash Dolphin Bar or your mouse. Now you should be good to go. There are six games on this miniature cart, and quality varies. Next we'll set up the Nintendo Entertainment System. For this, all we need to do is go down to port 2 controls and change mouse index to the dolphin bar or the mouse. If you use a large TV and have the dolphin bar at the bottom, it's best to shoot up at the screen for better accuracy. Next we're going to set up the Super Nintendo. In Core Options go to Port 2 Controls, then in Device Type we change it to Super Scope. In the Settings again we change the Port 2 Mouse Index. Next up is PlayStation. For this we're going to go to Core Options, then go to Port 1 Controls and change Device Type to GunCon. Now go back into Settings, Input, scroll down to Port 1 Controls. Now we're going to add some binds for light gun buttons such as Start, Select and Gun Orcs A. Now we can play Time Crisis. And we can use this for any other PlayStation game. This one's Point Blank, which is a mini game collection for light guns. We have one person on the zapper and one person on the control pad. As time goes on, the A500 Mini continues to impress. And even with this mouse, we can play some light gun games. Are there any games you'd like to try? And did we miss any absolute belters? As we finish up, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. We make video reviews, tutorials like this, and help fix those cheap arcade boxes and the A500 Mini. If you want to help support the channel, please jump on. If you are a pretty girl, you can jump on me anytime. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!